Oh, shit. Okay, upcoming show, San Antonio's probably sold out. There was one more. We might add a second show Sunday. That's nice. bananas. So maybe not. You'll find, I don't know. Grand Rapids, that's pretty much sold out. There's a handful of left, uh, tickets left for Thursday. Uh, that's ayahuasca. No tickets sold for that one. I'm looking at my calendar. It's just <laughs> healing. Um, Hartford, New York is pretty close. All my shows are selling out, folks. Get your tickets now. I'm reading dates and they sold out. That's a beautiful feeling. I love it. Um, Burbank, June 1st. Tempe, Arizona, June 13th, 14th, 15th. San Jose, June 19th. Richmond, Virginia, Virginia Beach, June 26th, 27th. I'm in Virginia. Spokane and SLC just added. July 14th, Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm finally coming. Des Moines, Omaha, Portland, Tacoma, Hasbro Heights. Tampa, Orlando, Greensboro, Charlotte, Detroit stuff doesn't give me a ticket link. I'm sorry. Niles, Michigan, September 22nd. Fort Worth, Wichita Falls, Chicago, Kansas City, Little Rock, Sunnyvale. Wait. Scratch that one. I don't know. What's that. Anyways, come to a show. Come to a city near you. Oh, the the Crest. Uh, I've got Sacramento, December 21st. Ticket link coming soon. Just That just happened. The Crest Theater. I got a theater gig. Sacramento, where you at? Where you at? <laughs> and uh, tune into this one. It's good vibes. We're going through it, but we're 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 growing. And I love you all. Much love. Who isn't sad? Craig's sad today. I ain't gonna tell you why. But no, I'm not sad. We're not starting. I'm a little sad. Got women's troubles. Hey, but on a bright note, check this shit out. Are we rolling? Yeah. This Hormos Rashidi's hat right here. Chris almost fell. <laughs> By the way, Luis, my cat, sprayed shit on Chris again. <laughs> She's done that n- 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 to no one. Three times to me. It's something. It's your pussy. <laughs> what is happening over there? Why is my cat spraying you? And she loves me like no cat, like... My no. childhood cat loved me this much. Yeah. It's the last cat that ever gave me this much love and attention. She sprayed you, bro. <laughs> I My guess poor I'm hers guy. Now. He, the, this guy puts up with everything. On a bright note, always, what are we grateful for? I'm grateful for my career. I'm grateful for my fans. I'm grateful for y'all. It's funny how like you could just be killing it in every capacity whatsoever, but still have like problems emotionally. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you never know what someone's going through, even if they're winning. Yeah. Like even if you're worth fifty million bucks, if your back hurts, you got spinal issues. You're still in. It doesn't. Ma- the money doesn't matter. Is what I'm getting at. You still yeah. got a problem. You got a. You got a. You know, cleft lip for a back. What's that called? Scoliosis. <laughs> Scoliosis. <laughs> I forgot a goddamn cleft lip for a back. Hey, same thing, right? Yeah. A deformity. Yeah, I guess that's, uh, I don't know. I just was going through it. But anyways, the heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck love, dude. I hate that shit. It creeps out of nowhere. It's like, here you go. And I'm like, hey, now, what's that? I don't want none of that. <laughs> I don't want none of that. I'm... Anyways, um, but what do we do? Okay, we could talk about that. What do you do when you're going through emotions? Fuck a long beach walks, let's say nature walks, save your damn life. Anytime I'm dealing with a death or something atrocious, I take a long beach walk and uh, that person comes back from the dead. It's so weird. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got jokes, bitch. They're fucking dead. They ain't coming back. No, but they do in the infinite spirit. Maybe he has a rock next time. One could hope. Let me be an amethyst. Come on, God. Somebody rub my <laughs> booty. I'm an amethyst. What's it called? Let me get, I want to come back as turquoise. Asul, asul. My only fear of death is reincarnation. That's Tupac <laughs> lyric right there. Damn, for being a sad Sally, I'm still funny as fuck, huh? <laughs> Fucking rub my rock booty, boy. <laughs> Not you, sir. I would, you know, it's just a. <laughs> okay.
I am rambling today. Back to the <laughs> list. So I did the rec room at Huntington Beach. It was sold out, and it was really dope. But it was hysterical because it was the last night ever. Like they're bulldozing the entire <laughs> complex and building condominiums. So nobody gave a fuck. So the rec room is at this place where it's uh, like a glow-in-the-dark bowling alley, an arcade, a laser tag, you know. And it was a great club, but you not you know when you're big, you ain't you don't want to go do the glow-in-the-dark bowling alley club. <laughs> But I was happy to be there, and it was very serendipitous because it was the first club to ever headline me where I got to do an hour, and then I did their last show. But, like, it was a trip because you could have stole bowling balls, bro. No one gave a fuck. They're bulldozing <laughs> it. No one gave a fuck. <laughs> you, like, people were ordering drinks. They're like, oh, we have a Southern Comfort. Like, that, <laughs> can I have a water? No more water. So go. And uh, it was fucking chaos, bro. Like... Uh, people were buying merch and shit after the show, meet and greet. And uh, this one couple came up to me and they're like, yeah, the server gave our car to someone else and they left with it. And then we went to them and they're just like, it's my last day. Like, I, <laughs> you just need to cancel it. I, that's, that's that's it, lady. It's toast. You know what I mean? Imagine the last night. Who cares? We should have left firecrackers in there. Always with the firecrackers, Craig. You never grow out of it. I'm tired of being a child. I want to grow up. I'm sick of this shit. I've been making mistakes my whole life. Don't you get tired of it? You don't seem to make as many as me. <laughs> They're smaller. <laughs> These fucking lessons, bro. I'm sick of it. I'm done, God. I'm done learning. No more. Fucking toast, bro. <laughs> Give me some butter, God. How about that? How about that as a lesson? Give me some butter for my toast. That's a weird analogy. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what else happened at the rec room? It was just dope. It was cool. It's weird to grow as a comic, and then other comics look at you different. It feels funny to me. Because I'm like, I was over there, too. It felt like yesterday. I'm getting recognized more and more and more. I got recognized at the sandwich shop. This guy was like, I seen you at the Laugh Factory. And then the next guy was like, I seen you make fun of those cam boys about your cousin's hoo-ha. <laughs> and then they gave me some free chips. That's fantastic. <laughs> when I was broke, they didn't give me nothing free. Now I got some Facebook Reels money and they give me <laughs> potato chips for free. Lays. Plain. I'm a plain pussy boy. Get that cool ranch out of here. Barbecue, no thank you. Give me plain old seed oil. I want a hemoglobin on my neck. What are those called? Hematomas. Hemoglobin, hemoglobin. Who says? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Craig. I got to study four scripts. I'm blessed to be in a commercial with Pete Holmes, and he gave me four scripts. And I was like, Pete, who? Do you know who I am? <laughs> four scripts? How about one? Two lines. I could do that. Real good. <laughs> Multiple paragraphs? Dog, I got to study. How long do you have? Tomorrow. <laughs> I'll wait till the last minute. Come on, dog. What do you think? This is a game? I'll sleep on it. Wake up with it in my brain. That's how it works. <laughs> I wish I tried that before. That's how desperate I am. I'm not going to read it, but if I sleep on it, maybe, <laughs> maybe the words will go in my head. They don't. Just so you guys know, the woo-woo isn't all true. Some things are false. I feel weird with my cap forward. I did, Yeah, this is a new look. You shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm Craig Conan. Vote for me. I, no, I look like a baseball coach. Yeah. Slide. Is that what they do? I, I forgot. I played baseball my whole life. Did you see that? <laughs> that means steal the base. But return it. Don't be a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm turning into a dad. All these dad jokes. <laughs> yep. How's your son? He's good. What are you what what are you doing, Chris? Sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> that was a joke. That was very sweet and amazing. I'm just a crazy man. I was like, let's get him. Let's scare him. No, he's so beautiful. We had Easter's. That was on the notes. Easter's with my son. My son's first Easter's. I was playing a Nacho Libre soundtrack. <laughs> it was fantastic. 
all these eggs, all these kids. It was just family, good food, roast beef, prime rib, prime rib. I said the wrong one. And uh, mashed potatoes, asparagus. Um, my cousins came down. My sister overdoes it. She had like 4,000 eggs. We were tired of hiding them. We we're just throwing them in the grass. It's like, every, it was crazy. She overdoes it. In a good way. It's better to overdo it than underdo it. Thanks for taking me to the snow, Daddy. Never did. It's right there. <laughs> Damn. Wow. And then, uh, no, my boy's so cute. He has such blue eyes, too. He fills your cup. He scares me, though, so I was like, dude, I'm responsible for you. Give me a break. You know? <laughs> You're like, sheesh, I got to grow up. I think that's also why I'm sad. Like, I have to grow up now. This kid is making me grow up. No, he's uh, he's he's just an angel. He's got these true blue eyes. But I just stare at him when I hold him, and I just smile, and my heart gets all full. And then I fart and ruin the moment. <laughs> We're just searching for a laugh, everybody. <laughs> Come on. I can't just be all sweetsy sweetsies. No, it's good to be real. Helps the people. Anybody with a kid understands. And I uh, was hanging with some homies at the comic store last night. And it's just, uh, once again, uh, money's good. To make money and to be older. Because if it was in my youth, I would, I would, I would, oh, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, you're on your own, kid. <laughs> Papa's in the dark. Papa's in the prison and Batman. Rise of Darkness, whatever the fuck that was called. <laughs> what the fuck was that one called? You know, the cave where they have to jump the rope and the people are like, he, 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 he. Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, there you go. See? My thinker. <laughs> yeah, that's a trip. Yeah, he's just so cute, dude. I can't wait to, like, do stuff like teach him how to ride a bike and dig in the dirt, you know? I already been putting his face in there a little bit. <laughs> get the get the dirt. Get the dirt. <laughs> you think I'm wiping off passies? This is the difference between male and females. <laughs> I dropped his passy at Easter dinner. There was dozens of witnesses. They, they all all they were like, wash it off, and I just gave it to him. And, and you know, <laughs> all the men laughed. Every single one of them. Every female went no. <laughs> And that's the difference. You guys are just nurturers, naturally. That's so funny. The guys are like, ah, ga, 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 ga. Whatever. This fluoride in the water. So he got a little cat hair and God knows what. <laughs> He's building them immunities. Herd immunity, son. Herd immunity. No, he's just so cute. Post a bunch of photos of him. We, we had some Polaroids. Yeah, baby mama finally got to see how my family gets down at parties. I was like, I told you. It's not till you experience it. We are like, damn, this is wild. And uh, yeah, just I was telling her the last birthday party I had was the one where my buddy got naked and peed on everybody and we had to hog tie him. <laughs> and I hit him with the butt of a knife in his heart. The backside, everybody. He was getting crazy. And he was reaching for the buck knife, so I went, no. You know? Natural reaction. Crazy, crazy people. It's <laughs> <a> good guy. <laughs> oh yeah, this at the comedy store I was um I should have took a picture of the damn lineup. Yeah, it was George Perez's birthday party. I fucking be real if Cypress Hill was there. Chilling with him. He said, good set. I got a photo of Ann Corona took. It's coming my way, and I cannot wait. That's the first time where I'm like, come on, man. Give me the photo. Because I was going to do one with my iPhone, but he's a professional. So I was like, hey, man. It's funny because I seen him. Uh, we were just chilling, and I try to get Van. I call him. Like, hey, come to the green room. Fucking be real. But uh, there's no service at that damn comedy store. It's a vortex. And then he just popped up. I called him psychically. Thank you, God. He put some butter in his brain. No, I don't. That was a weird callback. It was a butter <laughs> toast reference. Didn't make any sense to me either, folks. Anyways, yeah. And then he was just in there, and then I got one. Of course, George it was his birthday, and he got one with the homies. 
and then all of a sudden, like poor B real, everyone was like, "Hey, can I get one?" He he's used to it though. We grew up on him. A to the motherfucking K, homeboy. A to the motherfucking K. I listened to uh, Black Sunday uh, every day before high school. I would listen to hits from the bong, and I would take a hit from the bong. <laughs> and I was like, this guy gets it. This guy gets it. Oh, yeah, he was giving out. This is his company. He was giving out a little weed, a little rolling trays. I had to take one, though. Just one. <laughs> I took two vapes too. Gift for you. Gotta quit, man. But it's so good. This is the homie, uh, a homie's brand too. That's amazing. E Zone. It's this is his line of weed. I should probably look into that, but you know, I'm trying to. Weed is. I'm always down with drugs that better you, not worsen you. What's going on with that chair? <laughs> Did I break that chair? No, the thing came out. Oh. Because I wrote this down. Let me see. Those are old notes. That's what it was. Do the better yourself drugs. And that's what this is. Once again, be careful with your relationship with it. If it runs the show, it runs the show. But it is a little flower. And then, uh, yeah, just mushrooms. I get it, man. Like, in my head, I'm like, okay, you have to drink, right? So just eat these mushrooms every night. Switch. The old switcheroo. And then you're not going to beat your wife anymore, you <laughs> monster. Henry, stop hitting your wife. Eat the mushroom and hug her. <laughs> hug her. You know it's true. If those abusive alcoholic and you swapped his bottle of whiskey out for a bottle of mushrooms, he'd be gardening in two days. <laughs> two days. I put my money on that. Ayahuasca, he would repent from his sins and apologize and give her everything he has. <laughs> I was wrong. That's so crazy. Yeah. Alcohol is not a better. Cocaine is not a better yourself. Pills are not a better yourself. Yeah, I'm saying it. But this little mushroom is quite lovely. Just love and positivity and gardening. That's what it does. It just teeters you to light. Because there'll be some dark shit. And I'll just eat a couple of those and it's not so bad. I'm tired of fighting darkness too. It's like. What the fuck? <laughs> Am I the only one? And they're like, no, it's most of us. Everyone has these different levels of it. It's in my tummy and my pecker. Get out of me. <laughs> Get it out. That's why I keep doing ayahuasca. Bleh. You just puke. You puke up the old trauma. Anyways. Getting a little, getting a little too much there. Yeah, just be real. Fucking George Perez birthday show. Jesus Christ, that was magical. Easter's comedy store. Oh, I, I canceled on a show. It was like the third time. And then they made me feel bad. And yes, I'm an asshole for canceling three times in a row. But there's a reason to this. And I kept ana analyzing it because they said some snarky shit. And I know they were right. But also they don't get it. They don't get what it's like to be me. Basically what I learned early on is comedy clubs trump all. Comedy store, laugh factory, improv. So if I'm doing your backyard show and the Laugh Factory books me, hey, I'm sorry, bro. I'm going over here. It's called Good Problem. I got too many spots. And it only happens when the times are conflicting. I didn't, it was like two to tango type of thing. Like the time said seven. So I thought it was seven. I was like, oh, let me go first. So like actually it starts at eight. My spot is at 820 at the Laugh Factory. How's that going to happen? I'm in Long Beach too. So anyways, I canceled. I'm like, I, it's at the same time. And I got to go with the club. It's it's like a good problem. But then they're like, dude, like you've committed. And I'm like, yeah, but like wait till you're here. You don't understand until you're there. And you're like, oh, like I now completely understand why Bobby Lee is slow to get back to you or whatever. He's got 50 million things. Keep in mind, I love him and I didn't mean to name him, but he's the man. He is slow to get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> he's a goddamn man. But it's like, dude, he has four million pots on in the kitchen cooking. 
if you want to open for him, he doesn't respond. He forgot. Like, you don't understand the volume of hundreds of messages and emails. And I'm trying to keep up. And it's just me and you <laughs> and Eric. And I just got to keep adding more. I have to add someone to run my merch. I'm so slow on these orders. I'm so sorry. They're coming, though. What had happened was I sold shit. I didn't have an inventory. So you got to <laughs> wait. It's coming. I'll mail it. I'll send a love you note. I'm sorry. Thank you. Bye-bye. And uh, I got to hire somebody to do that now. It's not like all good problems, but when you're by yourself and you're building it up, you get overwhelmed and the stress just tears you up. You get anxiety. And then motherfuckers make you feel bad. And it's like, it is my fault, but it's also like not, you know? And that's all. Just talking about life stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like, it is what it is, cowboy. These spots come in last minute. What, am I not going to take more money at a better venue? What do you want me to do? It's more money and it's the motherfucking laugh factory. It is what it is, playboy. And also, I apologize, too. Like, I get it. Like, I hate uh, if anybody came to that show and I wasn't there. And it was a pet show. There's a bunch of dogs. I don't want to get heckled by dogs. It was like a pet show or the laugh factory. Jeez, let me think. Let me think. I should have done my dog to warm a bit. Oh. <laughs> That's what I call good problems. Yeah. I guess trying not to complain, but you got to talk for an hour on a podcast. You better think of something. <laughs> we, 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 everything's fine. <laughs> and that's our show. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's over now. Uh, Oh, yeah. Fuck it. I might even be moving out. Beef with the landlord. Shit is just happening. What's going on in the solar system? <laughs> I'm done, bro. I'm so tired. My son's kicking my butt. The road's kicking my butt. I need a backy out of me. <laughs> the landlord didn't see the cat video, did he? No. <laughs> Can you believe that? Can you believe <laughs> that? that? Viral. <laughs> so viral. So viral. I wasn't the one that burnt the spot. And I got millions and millions of views on that cat video of me hiding my cats from my landlord because it's a no pet building and I have four of them. Four. No, he actually caught wind because of the upstairs. And I'm not going to name names, but. And then we came clean. And then this middleman, new manager dude came in and was like, dude, leave him alone. And then he did. But he's like a child and he got mad at it at a later date, even though he said, it's fine. Don't worry. The law is also changing. So soon it'll be illegal for that to even go down. And uh, just unfortunate. He yelled at like the neighbor lady and made her cry. And it made all of us just want to beat him up. You know, what you making the little little lady cry for you fucking cocksucker. Not that there's anything wrong with that. My six dicks, homie, don't want to offend him. <laughs> he sucks six dicks. He's a cocksucker. <laughs> That's what you call them, you know? <laughs> Seis. Seis. <laughs> Siete menos uno. <laughs> <laughs> Seis. I don't know what equal is in Espanol. Equal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm just so tired. I got to study these scripts, wipe my son's ass, do a show at the improv. Go shoot these scripts. Tell Pete, I'm sorry, man. It's so real hard to memorize this stuff. <laughs> it's so hard. I slept on it, dude. <laughs> Let me riff with you. Howdy, cowboy. My, my hair's dirty. Give me some shampoo. It's a shampoo commercial. <laughs> I gotta read. I gotta read. Somebody's gotta read. Uh-oh. I don't want to. No, I will. Dude, it's so cool to be hired by your heroes. And I got an audition tomorrow. I'm not supposed to say anything. Shh. I got a shoot and an audition. And all my show shows are selling out. Oh, my God. What? Cuckoo bananas. Keep moving forward, everybody. I cannot stress that enough. You never know when it's going to come. And sometimes it doesn't come, but still enjoy the junior journey, journey. What happened there, Craig? Do, 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 do. 
when I get bigger, someone one of those music mans is gonna catch all the little errors and make a song out of it. <laughs> you know how they do that? Yeah. Any questions? <laughs> I'm out. How long have we been rolling? It feels uh, like an eternity. About a half hour. That's no, 23 it. minutes. Sorry. Oh, my God, people. I am <laughs> toast. I need a coffee break. I'm doing ayahuasca again. Jesus Christ. I'm going to take a week off afterwards. Don't worry. I just got to get some more shit out of me. I feel it. I feel me getting better and lighter. But it's still such hard work and a process. And when you come back from ayahuasca, you kind of expose like a raw nerve and you're still wounded. But once you heal from that, then you're stronger, you know. But it takes a while. I learned that over the last year. <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. Bro, it's too hard. Come with me. Come on, man. <laughs> I need backup. <laughs> Devil is in my tummy. I don't know what it is, but whoo, scary. <laughs> Fucking scary, dog. Those that have been there understand. You're like, mm hmm. Did we talk about Louise Sprace shitting on you yet? Yeah. We already did that one. <laughs> oh my up top. God, up top. Oh, that's right. Right out the gate, I remember now. Well, we're just free flowing. I have two pears in my tummy and a big fart. That's a good night. <laughs> I love pears so much. I'm a Bartlett guy. DeAndre's all right. Kamichi's cool. No, thank you, Bosk. Oh, it's my favorite. Bosk? Yeah. A nice one is real ripe. Okay, maybe when just falls apart. Yeah, they're all right. I'm a Bartlett boy. Kamichi's good. Those Harry and David Kamichis. Uh, I don't know if I've ever had one of those. Oh yeah, get yourself some Harry and David when you're rich, or at Trader Joe's at Christmas time. <laughs> yeah, because they're ten bucks there and they're like forty bucks online. What's the deal? It's a good deal. That's what it is. <laughs> I just mean, how do they charge forty dollars? It's the packaging. They wrap them in gold. I don't need the gold foil. I'll just take it for cheap. <laughs> it's got skin on it. Everyone's always trying to wrap every, you put skin on the skin. What for? That's how I got my son. No wrap. <laughs> Stop it. You knock it off. <laughs> what a lunatic. I'm at war with myself all day, every day. You know this, right? You know how hard it is to be in my head, dude? I'm fucking ka ka ka. <laughs> just got devil or angel just fighting my whole fucking life and i'm so tired of it <laughs> i'm so sick of it i'm gonna take a hero dose soon i can't take this shit i'm gonna see the quarter go swim with some dolphins hope one of them rapes me you know what I mean? <laughs> that was dark that was too far great we search for punchlines here that's what we do that's why you guys pay me six bucks for this. <laughs> Craig said something bad about the dolphins. Yeah, well, they, I heard on the TV they did that. It's, it's weird. They're the only animal that has that. Isn't that funny? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go back. Rewind. Rewind. We are, we're doing great. We're doing great. I'm hanging on by a thread, bro. I'm fucking tight roping it. Who knew raising a child is hard? Did you know this? <laughs> I'd heard. Holy shit, my poor baby mama. She gets most of it, too. I'm fucking there. We'll have her on the pod. I'll have her tell you that I'm there. I already said that, but, you, I, you know, too, I show up every day, and it's worth it, and I love it, and it's fulfilling, but it's just like a mountain. I'm climbing like three mountains. I'm lazy, bro. <laughs> I barely want to climb a hill. I don't want to climb a hill and I got three mountains. They just keep stacking up. Oh, fuck these mountains. I'm moving to the Great Plains. 
<laughs> Give me a plateau. I know why the flat earthers are, exist now. It's no mountains. <laughs> flat. Give me a flat earth, a flat ass. I'll give up big booties. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Just give me give me peace and tranquility. I need some harmony in my soul. We're wildly. Yep. Well, I gotta go, folks. I gotta study four scripts. <laughs> four. Look at that. You see that? Those are thick too. Each one is like a couple pages. How long is this commercial? Too long, <laughs> apparently. No, there are many quick little snippets. Okay, yeah. I just need to know the gist of it. I hope there's improv. <laughs> I hope there's improv, Pete, because you don't know who you just booked. <laughs> Man, I've told this story before, but it's so funny. I was in acting class, and I was a serious scene, like a dramatic scene. And they're like, come on, like get angry, do this, do that. And I was killing, bro. <laughs> I was murdering. Everyone was dying. Like, ah, ah. And I was trying so hard to be serious and dramatic, like my lip would quiver. Like I get so nervous, and I'd grunt and shit. I'm grunting. Not intentionally. Do you, know, do you understand? <laughs> It's Greg, stop grunting. Why are you grunting? And uh, the teacher said, you're doing everything wrong, but I don't want to change you. I don't want to fix you. <laughs> I said, that's right. <laughs> no, I was just, what a, what a kook. What a kook. I'm going to start studying acting. I could book so much shit. I got to get into this shit. If we start today inside the actor's <laughs> studio with James Lipton. Here, I'm shampoo guy, and then greasy guy, and then stinky guy. What are you trying to say, Pete? <laughs> it's like I wrote you a part. You're the greasy guy. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, greasy hair, sorry. I love it. So those will be fun. Shoot opportunities. No, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to study all that. Thank God he's a hero I love and look up to because uh, I am going to do my homework. If it was like a Microsoft Bing, I ain't doing it. <laughs> Fuck you, Bill Gates and your bugs. I'll take your check, though. Yeah. At least you don't have poison oak this time. Oh, yeah. Poison oak on my balls, thigh, shin, arm, neck, little piece of my face. My booty hurt when I sat <laughs> on the toilet. Shin bones. Last looked like bloody pussy lacerations. I I'm I'm tired of my stories. <laughs> I'm done with my stories. I don't, oh god. When I stack them all up, I get like a weird feeling in my tummy and I go, "Oh, Craig. Craig. You know? What? I'm retiring. I got to go to a cave, bro. I'm going to be a monk." They'll kick me out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this monk won't shut the fuck up. He's always talking to his shoulders, going, do it, don't do it. Have you ever seen Kung Pao enter the fist? It's been a long time, but yeah. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. No, uh... What's the one... Where he masters it and he beats the tin can up. Hang on. Kung Fu. Not Kung Fu Hustle. Kung Fu Hustle. Okay, yeah. That's the one. Kung Pao Into the Fist is too weird. Yeah. That one's too weird. If you ever watch that entire movie, by the end of it, you're like, what the fuck just happened? There is a few moments that are absolutely <laughs> amazing. The cow fight. And then wee 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 wee, <laughs> and then that's probably it. That's all I can remember. But that cow fight's pretty good. That movie was weird. I watched the whole thing one time, and I was kind of angry. I was like, "That guy only makes weird movies." What's we, his other movies? Uh, there's one called High Strung, where he just rants at the camera about how he wishes he was dead, and then at the end, uh, Jim Carrey shows up, and he's the devil, mm. and he takes him to hell. 
Mm. But it's like literally an hour of him just looking at the camera, walking around his apartment, talking about how everything sucks, and he wishes he was dead. I mean, I get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy to be so happy and 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 uh, overwhelmed at the same time. That was a joke, folks. And uh, not the happy part, the the, the wanting to die <laughs> part. No, I don't want to die. I'm living my dream, and I've been extremely happy lately. It's it's unreal, the amount of joy from my son and my career blossoming. Um, it's just overwhelming, you know. You just take a, it's like damn. What's fucked up is it's just a game, and you put pressure on yourself for mo for no reason, and for mo reason. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they say in like Buddhist stuff, they talk about how like bl even bliss can get like too much or like you get. Yeah. You, you can't exist in that state at all times because it would be too intense. Yeah. And you need the, the yin and the yang, you know? Otherwise, they don't exist. I seen Alan Watts talk about it in depth. I can't regurgitate one bit of it, but I went, mm hmm. I like it. That checks out. It makes sense. If it's all white, no there's no you know, there's no contrast. There's no ups and downs. If it's all happy, then how do you even know what bad is? Or, or you know, it's like I understand it, even though I don't know how to explain it. Hee <laughs> hee. Been praying, that helps. I'll be praying. Do you pray? Uh, not exactly. Do you say, like, I am grateful for stuff? Because that's praying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. When I, Like, it's not so formal, I don't think. Oh, but, bro, uh, come on. No, you think I'm, yeah. <laughs> well, I just mean, I guess I don't compartmentalize it to where I'm going to, like, now I'm going to be grateful but yeah when i do get grateful or when i get down i try to go to that what am i grateful for yeah i i do this thing it's called releasing where you like you think about a problem you have and then you welcome the fact that it exists and you ask yourself if you can stop trying to like wanting to change it yeah and then because wanting to change something is like makes it real and you feel like you don't you like you don't have what you don't have everything but yeah. if you can let go of the wanting to change it then it kind of just dissipates on its own you know that makes sense i like that yeah like that what you resist persists type thing let go i've lived it and i still don't you know what i yeah, mean yeah you have to, like i've lived it and i still fight it every day and i've noticed when i do let it go it comes and yet here we are mhm mm yeah. What a wild ride. What is this life shit? This is the longest game I've ever played in my life. It's <laughs> This is crazy. There's another yeah. Buddhist thing where they say the joy is in the returning. So like you you fall down, you forget to let go, and then when you remember, just you go back to that that peaceful place, but you won't stay there and you'll get dragged back down. And then the joy is in the returning when you go, oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's just like that the cycle. ups and downs, yeah. Ips and downs, ips and downs. Yeah, I like I like a lot of that Buddhist Taoist stuff. That reincarnation and we come back a million times and we've been blades of grass. And I didn't really think too much about it until ayahuasca and yeah. I turned into a blade of grass. And I went, oh, oh grasshopper <laughs> yeah when i took that big mushroom dose i saw the clock on the wall like it it came out of the wall as like a spiral mm. and as like the clock would go around you could see like oh every time it hits noon again it's not the same noon it's another noon mm. like even though it spins in a circle it's also constantly progressing yeah it's never the same noon enjoy every sandwich <laughs> that's true Enjoy every sandwich. I got some Jersey Mike's in the fridge. 
I'm going to tear that shit up. <laughs> Jersey Mike's is the last quality sandwich chain that doesn't make you feel like a dumpster fire. After yeah. That. How do they all get ruined? What the hell, man? I know how. Jared. <laughs> Jared, you old <laughs> cocksucker, you motherfucker. <laughs> Land of the pedophiles, bro. God damn, what is happening out there? <laughs> Diddy, everything. 50 Cent should be president. Yeah. This guy's great. <laughs> This guy is just relentless. Did uh did you see did I share the post? I know I shared some stuff. I don't believe I shared this. 50 Cent did a post of his ex, his baby mama uh came out and said P Diddy paid her to be a sex slave. Yeah. I talked about that? No, I I saw oh, that. You saw that? Though. And then uh 50 Cent posted about his baby mama you see you in court over the custody of our child, you sex worker. <laughs> That's crazy. That's some gangster shit. Even me, I'm like fifty. I'm like, damn. I heard he's paying. He'll pay money for like video evidence of everything oh, yeah. he did. He did. Oh yeah. And he's just probably gonna turn around and post sell it. it. Yeah, <laughs> post it, yeah, sell just... it. That guy is wilding. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Damn. Yeah, Oprah's under eyes now because she's been friends with like five pedophiles <laughs> and rapers. They're like, oh, you got a real weird circle over there. Some odd friends. And now she's like pushing Ozempic and Weight Watchers as like a consultant. Yeah. I used to love her. Times change, huh? She was in Hawaii where all those people burned, and she just said, I'm getting them toothpaste. How about a home, <laughs> bitch? How about a fucking house? You have the resources. Anyway, uh, too dark. Fuck. Yeah, shout out to all people who's going through it, struggling times. I know it's hard out there. Good luck. You know what to do. Eat mushrooms, pray, go to the beach, good nature walks. And good luck to you. Good luck to you in your ventures. Search for light. It's all around you. It's in your soul. You just gotta shake off the caca. I really believe all that shit now. We're all born with the gift. Even though I say it like this. Like, why am I... Somebody singing right now? What the fuck is that? I couldn't tell if it was a siren or a cat. I got all my cats in. We're good. Okay, good. Um... I don't remember what I was talking about. Uh, shit, you believe in shaking the caca off your soul? Oh, yes, that's right. No, I, I really believe uh, all the cheesy shit I used to make fun of. Like, we're all born with the gift. We, If we pursue that gift and stay with it long enough and have faith, something will happen. Denzel talks about it all the time in a much more eloquent, mic drop kind of way. I think that's why I downloaded this information. He's like, it's up to you to share your gift and then give it back, like help others. And that's why I just absolutely love him. And it's hard to find it, though. I'm very lucky I found mine. But it doesn't have to be as like crazy as everyone thinks. You know, I think a gift can be as simple as crocheting coasters. Like it's, I don't think it's as big and grandiose. Um, I'm just a knucklehead comedian, you know. But that's that's like I'm like it, you don't have to be in Hollywood. It could be anything. It, fucking gardener. You know, and I believe uh, when you when you start putting your foot forward towards that shit, stuff happens where it's like it shows you you're going the right way. Because I didn't, I wanted to do stand up, but I was bugged to do it. The coworker Brian Granger probably saved my life. He's like, dude, you're fucking nuts. You gotta come do these open mics with me. I was like, I will, but let me go do this coke real quick. <laughs> And then I got arrested, and then I did it, and then uh, and then even I killed my first time, and I still was terrified. I took ten months off, and then a show just landed in my lap, a real estate show. This guy wanted to do a comedy show for real estate. And they're like, he asked his realtor buddy, this guy used to sell weed to, and buy weed from. It, you know, long long friendship, <laughs> the tables turned, and uh, he's like, oh, Craig did stand up once. <laughs> That's how that nobody knew nothing. <laughs> 
and then I did it at, ten months later for the second time at Bruno's Bar and Restaurant in Gardena in the hood, where like G thirteen and like some other gangs beef and shit. There's always some gangsters in the lot. You're like, uh. <laughs> anyways, it's always cool when a restaurant has to have armed security. <laughs> <laughs> gangsters man and uh yeah 10 months you know what i mean for that that's wild right people hounding and hounding for shows and i did it once and they're like you want another one i'm like this yeah yeah (laughs) and i did it and i ripped again and i still didn't go back for like six months i had to do the improv and sketch at the second city in ucb and ios rest in peace yeah that's just wild and then people just kept saying, you got to go do that. And then I did. And here we are, baby. Here we are in a corduroy hat. <laughs> no big deal. Just a corduroy motherfucking hat pimping. And some, uh, what's this made out of yeast or something? What's that called? <laughs> a pack of wool? I'll be pounding on my heart, too. Yes. Yeah, you still do your qigong before you go up on stage. Oh yeah, every time, and I stretch and do power stances. <laughs> I stretch and I do power stances, and I do qigong where I hop up and down and wiggle my shoulders, and I usually start giggling, and so do other comics. <laughs> it's like this fucking guy, dude. I mean, it works. If anything, it gets the energy moving. I like to go on stage and get it, you know. I came up with Eric Myers, R.I.P., my brother, and he just get up there and just slaughter. It's a good training. I love it. Because some people pussyfoot around, and they, but some of that's fine, and it's genius. Nobody's having a problem with, with Patrice O'Neal pussyfooting. That's a genius. And then there's other pussyfooters where you're like, get to it. Brian Simpson is a G. He's a pussyfooter, but in the in the genius category. Oh, I need to watch his special still, damn it. Uh, yeah, check out Brian Simpson's special. I've been meaning to watch it. And, but yeah, I got a kid, dog. It's fucking busy. And uh, yeah, he's just a, he's a young goat right there. Guy's a genius. He's got all those smart, beautiful bits. Real slow with the two, real conversational. Fucking dope. I love that shit. That's the beautiful thing about stand-up. There's a million different styles, and you can like them all. And everyone's always like, oh, do you got to? Who cares, man? You can enjoy Chappelle and Seinfeld. Completely different. And on and on the list goes. Yeah, but B. Simpson, that's the motherfucking man. I started with him in San Diego. We'd headline this shitty club down there. I mean, I'm kidding. I love it. (laughs) Oh, speaking of which, both shows San Diego are sold out. That's wild. San Antonio sold out. Grand Rapids sold out. Santa Ana Pueblo. Albuquerque. She just rolled Albuquerque. The early shows are sold out. The late shows, not so much. It's New Mexico. Do they have that many people? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I love you. Yeah, Netflix is a joke. Show sold out. Ask for the bigger room and a second one. And they're like, nope. I was like, come on. I sold that like three months in advance. Ding. Oh, shit. Oh, no worries. Sorry, it's Booker Comic Club. What good problem? Sorry, sorry. Oh, we can keep it in. Thank you for booking me to begin with, and I'm out of town this weekend. I'm back next Tuesday, Wednesday. I was I didn't hit the voice button. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Thank you so much for booking me to begin with. I'm out of town this weekend, but I am in town this upcoming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy.
All right, sin. Oops, I put two Tuesdays. I said Tuesday twice. <laughs> That's sin. Uh, Have you been eating your colors? Colors, colors. Yeah, dog. What do you think? I'm on two today. I was sad. <laughs> Come on, dog. Are you kidding me? This is an attic. I'm a fucking drug addict, dog. I got this hunger and it never shuts up. I, that's what I'm mad at. Stop it. Go away. That's how I think about my addictions and shit. I'm sorry I'm doing text, but it's the book of the improv and I love her and I love spots. Spots and the clubs are my favorite. Sorry I canceled on your dog show. <laughs> Fucking cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> wolf wolf might have got some good clips actually yeah that's what i was thinking i should have canceled on laugh factory and got clips of oh is that craig or the german shepherd I, i'm selling dog the wormer after the show two for 50 get your dog the wormer finn bender's all safeguard looks like coke but it's not it's a drug that betters yourself I point down here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ready to leave Trader Joe's? You ready to come on the road with me? <laughs> it's looking like next year, cowboy. Uh, Theater gigs? Yeah. Theaters? Come on, dog. You could you could snuggle Eric Friedman. <laughs> Get real close. You could be the little spoon. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, you don't have to. Do we have to fly Boeing? I don't give a shit. Did you hear this whole hour? <laughs> fly to heaven. <laughs> my responsibilities are done thank you boeing <laughs> no more mountains yeah right they send you right back you gotta do it again oh no i'm trying to beat the game right here yeah i don't look into that <laughs> better not to know yeah what am i but yeah like next year international tour is that oh yeah popping off australia 2025 i know what year it is <laughs> so i had to look at the calendar real quick <laughs> i'm coming to australia oh yeah i just got the dates did i did ticket nickling out now nah, why what happened <laughs> sir why did i turn asian that sounded bad <laughs> Watch this. I'm coming to Australia. Um, March 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th. Perth, Brie, what's Brie? Brisbane, Brisbane. That sounds like some Australian. Right, yeah. I got some geography. You think I don't know stuff? Because it just said B-R-I. It could have been Brie. The cheese? <laughs> Sydney and Melbourne. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Friday's a travel day, Sunday. Wow, I'm going to Australia with my comedy. That's crazy. I do not have the ticket links. We literally just booked this, and it's next year. But there you go, Australia. You've been hitting me up. You've been hitting me up, and now I'm coming. That's amazing. There's something about going somewhere else, you know? Yeah. Mr. International, move over, <laughs> Pitbull. Move over. I love Pitbull. I respect the fuck out of him. He's the man. Talk about hustler. Talk about a light shining. You know? He talks shit about the feds, the CDC, <laughs> all of them. He goes, I see you, oh, fucker. I don't know how he sounds. Right? <laughs> see, I come from communist country. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds fucked up. I'm just bad at accent. <laughs> but he's the man and he speaks truth and I love him. I'm sorry about that accent, Pitbull. I don't think you'll ever see this clip. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I need more colors. Give me some more colors. <laughs> I just got to go in that sunshine. Yeah, it's a really nice day. It's so beautiful. Oh, I got my car washed. That feels good. It's filthy. When in doubt, clean it out. When in doubt, put a Q-tip in your <laughs> pee hole. Dude, Fu Manchu whiskers on the Packer head is the funniest thing I have ever said in my life. And nobody thinks so. I'm the only one. It will make 99 out of 100 cringe, but the one guy I get, he'll go, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fu Manchu reminds me of Kill Bill. You know? I, I have to study now. <laughs> I have to study my scripts. Well, everybody, this has been a free flow of consciousness. Um... Yeah, it was it was good. Just a little little emotional at the moment. I don't not too bad. Just a lot going on. Just a lot of life. It's a lot to handle. But Papa didn't raise no bitch, and we're gonna face it. We're gonna walk right into it, and we're gonna learn from our mistakes, and we're gonna you know and we're gonna grow. We're gonna finally grow up at forty, I'm turning forty. Time to grow up. I don't fucking want to. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. No, you got to you got to evolve or disappear as someone said Tupac did on the hoodie. Was saying Oh yeah, be real. I already said that, but damn last night was dope. We ain't going up like that. We ain't going up. My favorite is uh Black Sunday interlude. That shit slaps. I would listen to that on repeat, super high volume to get ready for Trader Joe's like early shift, 6 a.m. I would play that or Dr. Octagon real raw. I'd be like, and get dark. <laughs> yeah. Then I'd drink cold brew. They make me clean the fucking toilets. Me and a, you know who. Always us. <laughs> we did a good job. No one had any fucking work ethic. Not no one. You're pretty good. But you know those guys that just. Yeah. They didn't wipe the toilet down. Remember the guy that kept clogging the toilet? Mm-hmm. And then I yelled at him, and then we had to have a sit down with the manager. Yeah. And he said, Craig, you can't yell at you know who for clogging the toilet. Well, he did. Well, he did. Imagine that, baby, and having a sit down. <laughs> I'm so nuts. That was a huge boxer. He yeah. could have murdered me. And I was like, fuck you, you fucking shit ass. Just talking shit. This guy's like Rocky. He could have killed me any moment. And I'll just fight. Just I would have. Was it been down? I would have died. I would have died. But I would have took my lick. Well, I, I knew that was coming. <laughs> you know, boom. <laughs> He's a fucking boxer, two hundred pounds. I'm one fifty. Going, you fucking clogged the toilet. You know. Just cussing him out. I'm gonna cuss out my landlord soon. I feel it. The shoulders winning. The devil's winning. <laughs> Sweet tooth, hold your tongue. He's made a lady cry. I just realized somebody asked me if I was into vengeance and I was analyzing myself and I was like, no, I'm into justice. Even if it's myself, because it's the only thing that ever changed me. Pay the piper, you know. I don't love vengeance. Unless it's like, oh, he stole from me. All right, I'm fucking still back. You know. Oh, actually, Cypress Hill has that on the... Uh, Black Sunday. What what go around come around, kid? Jack me and not jack you back. It's not right. Eye for an eye for the whole world's blind. But someone's jack you, you're gonna want to jack them. For every action, there's an equal or lesser reaction. Sounds fair to me. You do something bad, take a limb. Crime would go down. <laughs> real bad, real bad. You know, the bad ones, the real ones, the murder and the dolphin stuff. You know. That's when you go. Ping, ping. I'm I'm down with that. 
I'm just like my dad. Shoot him. <laughs> Shoot him. <laughs> Shoot him. They're graffiti. Shoot him. No. No, not that. That's a ticket. That's fair. It depends on the graffiti. Is it pretty? Leave it alone. Is that ugly? Give him a ticket. Give him a ticket. Don't shoot him. Murder over there? Shoot him. Shoot him. That seems fair. Okay. All right. <laughs> what a crazy man I am. I'm done. Go to the beach, Craig. I love you all. I truly do. You're showing up. It's all happening. It feels absolutely surreal. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for my fans, my family, my son, my everything. It's all love. And the sooner we recognize that, then, yeah, that's when the pressure relieves. That's as soon as I said it's all love, I've just felt the lift. A little lift on the shoulders there. It's all love, baby. Remember that. Listen to Tupac because he's the shit. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, folks. I'm pooped. And I just, that I love you all. Good night. Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in there?